Greetings, I'm Joanne, and I'm here to show you how to use the COUNTIF function in Excel efficiently. This function can be extremely helpful when you need to count how many cells in a selected area meet certain criteria. For example, if you were to find out how many people in a table are exactly 18 years old, you can use this function to get the answer. You can also use this function to count how many people are over 65 or whose name is Oscar, whatever criteria you need to find out. Now let's learn how to do all this. To use the COUNTIF function, start by typing an equal sign into the cell where you want the output to appear. Then type in COUNTIF. Excel searches for the specified function and attempts to identify it. To use the COUNTIF function, click on it and then provide two pieces of information. The first piece of information we need to specify is the range of cells that Excel will search for the information we are looking for. The second detail you need to provide Excel with is a specific criterion to determine what information it should search for. In order to search the entire age column, select the area, then add a comma and enter the value for the desired criteria. We are looking to discover how many cells have only the number 18 in them. We have two choices. We can insert the number 18 into the parentheses and press enter. This will tell us how many cells contain the number 18. If, however, we need to alter the criteria regularly. We can adjust the function slightly so that Excel is able to acquire the value of the criteria from a chosen cell. In our example, we are using the fixed value 18. We will use the value stored in the cell G2 by referencing it. If we change the number in G2 to 25, we can see that there are two cells in the table which have 25 in them. It doesn't matter how many rows and columns the data table has, this principle still applies. Now, let's explore what additional capabilities this function has. The COUNTIF function can be used to find out how many cells in a table contain values greater than or less than a specific number. This number is stated in the criteria part of the formula. Let's show this. To find out how many people are over 65 here, type in the COUNTIF function as you did in the previous step and selecting the area. However, you need to specify the criteria in a slightly different way. Start by adding quotation marks around the criteria and then add the greater than sign within the quotation marks, followed by the number 65. The table shows that three people are over 65 years old, which Excel quickly confirms. Now let's update the function so that it is dynamic. The value in cell G3 contains the criteria we have chosen to use. When comparing values, it is not sufficient to simply refer to a cell a more detailed approach is needed. Let's give it a go and try a simple technique that will be effective. First, enter the greater than symbol within quotation marks. Now, we want to add ampersand and followed by the reference to G3. Once you press enter, you will see the same outcome as earlier when we used the fixed value. All the work has been finished here. If you enter the number 40 into cell G3, Excel will immediately recalculate the result and display the number 17. This indicates that there are 17 or more cells in the age column that contain numbers greater than 40. Before we finish, let's take a look at how to use the COUNTIF function with text values. To find out the number of people named Oscar in the table, we need to select the columns that contain names. This will give us the information we need. In addition, it is essential to note this. In order to locate a specific phrase, it is necessary to enclose it in quotation marks. To begin, type the name Oscar inside quotation marks, close the brackets, then press enter to start. We have now established that the data table contains two Oscars. If you would prefer to use a cell reference instead of a fixed value, simply include the column letter and row number of the cell containing the criteria value. In this example, it is in cell G4. If you enter Maria into the cell in Excel, it will immediately show that this name appears only one time in the table. Today in our tutorial, we demonstrated how to use the COUNTIF function, which we think will make your work easier. Additionally, Excel offers a variety of other useful functions that you can explore. Sheet Leveler provides video tutorials for some of the most popular functions, so you can quickly and easily get up to speed. 
If you found this tutorial useful, please show your appreciation by giving the video a like. Are you new to Sheet Leveler? If you would like to improve your Excel skills, hit the subscribe button and learn how to use Excel like a boss. I appreciate you taking the time to view my video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.